Hey, it's day 41. I want to give a shout out to my pal Maritza, who is working out live with Shanti right now in Orlando. Way to go, Maritza. Tell me how those uh, vibrams, vibrams work out, because I think I'm going to purchase a pair myself. Um, but I hope you're hanging in there. Um, day 41. You know, I started the week coming out of the flu, and the first couple days were uh, a bit challenging. And I'm finishing the week feeling fantastic. It took my stomach a full week to just really feel back to normal. Um, I wanted to show you guys something. This is what it takes to get through insanity. Normally I have two um, this size, but um, one was in the dishwasher. But it took both of these today to, um, to get through plyo. Um, I did pretty well. did really well on plyo. Um, all the way throughout the workout, all I kept thinking was, man, I have become persistent. I am persistent. I am persistent in my physical fitness. I am persistent in um, being consistent, persistent and consistent, persistent in being consistent with uh, my, my children and um, then being responsible around the house and getting first things done first. I'm persistent in running after and grasping um, my goals that I want to, to do. I'm persistent in finishing books. I'm persistent in uh, developing friendships. I just have become persistent. That could also be misconstrued as just being pushy. And if you guys think it's pushy, that's your deal. Sorry, I'm persistent. And I'm persistent in those workouts when I'm up in my attic Mainly because I know that I have to come on here and talk to you. You are helping to drive my persistence. When I first started this journey three years ago, it was for me. It was seriously for me. It was for my physical fitness. It was for my physical well-being. Now, do you know what drives me to get upstairs? Is that I have to check in with you. I'm persistent for you. I really am. So I hope that that is something that will grow inside of you as you're on this journey. I'm about to go have a splendid date with my seven-year-old man. I have a husband who's coming home from a mission trip from Haiti tonight. My daughter is on a retreat with our church. I am going to go take a very long walk with the other handsome man in my house, my seven-year-old. We're going to go read books and have some tea and coffee. We're going to the farmer's market. We're going to the barber shop. We're just going to go hang out together and enjoy one another's company. And it's the weekend, and I don't have to work out again until Monday. See you later. Bye.